Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, it's another rainy day. Not sure why any of us would be surprised on that. Uh, been out on a little bit of a road trip today. I popped my back, sorry. Uh, about a 164 mile round trip. I went up to Garfield, Kentucky at a little bit of a small implement dealership up there. He had a uh, John Deere 435 round baler up there for sale. He was, and I looked at some pictures. He had like 11 pictures of it online. So I looked at the pictures and emailed him a little bit. I decided to go on, you know, to come up there and look at it today. See what, you know, in person. Here, listen to it run, watch it run, open the tailgate, inspect it and everything. So that's where I've been today. I'm headed back to the house now. But, uh, I went up there and uh, he started to uh, run it. Ran smooth, no squeaks or any growling or anything like that. Like bearings are out or anything like that. No squeaks. I mean, it's, pickup sounded really good on it. The tires are really good on it. The belts, they're in so so condition. I had to relace a couple of them when I get home. Uh, it'll be Monday before I get home, and yes, I bought it. So, uh, but uh, like I said, the belts have to be re uh, you know relaced, replaced eventually. But uh, I'm gonna do that as needed because them things are expensive. But uh. Uh, it's got the bell track monitor on it, which bell track part of it is it's got the two gauges on it to where you can uh, watch, make sure the bell is level on each side, you know, so you can make a good uniform bell. And then it's got the buzzers on it for the tailgate, you know, electric tie, stuff like that. So electric over hydraulic tie. It makes a three foot, a four foot, or a three foot four foot tall and five foot, let's see, three foot, five foot, and six foot tall bales, but they're four foot wide, so they're, it'll be the five foot and four foot rows that I'm used to bailing, so. and uh, as a, the reason why I went with John Deere instead of Vermeer is because I've gotten Vermeer cheaper than a John Deere, but a Vermeer is a lot more, uh, a little harder to work on because they got double springs and tensioners on both sides so and then uh, there's a lot more chains you have to deal with on Vermeer and they're just I don't have a good reputable dealership around me for Vermeer's to feel comfortable with breakdowns or anything like that if I have anything John Deere now, I have two dealerships within 10 to uh, 15 minutes from my house. So they're both right implements. So if I need a bearings or anything like that, you know, I can get one from John Deere. And of course, John Deere 535s, John Deere 435s, they're kind of interchangeable. So uh, I got several people around me that, that runs John Deere's and they have a real good look on them. So that's the reason why I went green this time. But, uh, and like I said, John Deere is built so much simpler than Vermeer is. Instead of the spring tensioners that Vermeer has, John Deere has the hydraulic tensioners on it. And then John Deere, you can, uh, you can dump the tailgate, dump the row without having to shut the uh, PTO off. You can run PTO because when you open the gate, a, uh, the belt tensioner, it raises up and it takes all the tension off the belts. And the belts don't turn while you're dumping it to grow, so you can drop and you know drop it out having to shut it off. So that's another reason I'm in the John Deere. So I like it, and they got the kick bar on the back of it. A lot of people don't like the kick bar. It can be dismantled if I don't like it, but I don't have any serious inclines or heels that I would have to worry about a row rolling off out of control on me. So that way I can just stop in the wind row and dump the bell, kick it out, close the gate without having to do all that backing up and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, what I got today. So, I'm 
when I get a, I can't, I ain't got it with me today. I ain't gonna be able to get it, pick it up until Monday because uh, I don't have a truck and trailer getting up, uh, big enough to haul it home with. So I gotta borrow my brother-in-law's truck and trailer to go back over and get it and bring it home. Which is a little bit of a hassle, but you wait too much longer, closer to hay season. And a lot of farmers are looking for the four foot rows because they're easier to put on trailers and haul down the road. So if you wait too much, if I waited too much longer, it's going to be harder to find and the price is probably going to go up a little bit too because they're harder to find. So I saw this and went up there and looked at it. And these are the shape it's in, so my cow went ahead and jumped on it. So I'm glad I did because it's getting harder to find. Uh, those style bailers anymore. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad to be able to go. I could, like I said, I could have gotten a Vermeer 505 or 504, but like I said, it just several variables that kind of led me away from the Vermeer. So that's I had to make that kind of decision on that. But like I said, two I got two dealerships. 10, 15 minutes away from my house so I can just get up, get in a truck and haul ass, or haul butt, sorry haul butt up there and go get it, go get the parts hopefully so. uh, yeah, and they're, little, and they're newer so they're a little more universal to find parts for but uh and the other thing was about the Vermeer is you had to be take off a little slower and easier in order to uh, start the bell and get it even across there because of the way the belt design is, the throat design. On a John Deere, it's built better and you can just pretty much rev it up, take off and go and not have to worry about missing, you know, hardly crossing the belt or anything like that too much. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a good bailer. But anyways, I'm getting close to some, probably, hopefully some restaurants because I am starving right now. Uh, spending, money, spending money makes a person hungry. Makes them broke, but makes them hungry, too. He was originally asking $5,250 $50, for that bailer, which was not worth that much. So I made him an offer. It was too low, so we bumped it up a little bit. He come down, I went up. We met in the, uh, we met at a decent price, and uh, signed the deal on it. So I know he's still making money off of it, but hopefully I can too. So it should take me maybe two seasons to pay for itself. It'll work out pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Now looking forward to getting home, hooking it to my tractor, letting it run, doing a little bit of a review video on it, and see what y'all think on it, see what y'all's opinion on it is. So, I didn't want to do anything today because it's raining, and I had one of the guys out there with me, so... I didn't do any videos on it today, but I'll do a video on it when I get home so y'all can see it, see it run, see it tailgate open, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, like I said, there is a few cosmetic things that has to be done. That doesn't have to be, but I'm going to uh, beat the beat the dents out of the doors just a little bit. I got to put uh, air, see if that little guide tire pick up tire on see if it'll hold air or not if it don't i'd get another tire for it it's just a little bit old lawnmower tire no big deal on it uh get home grease it real good go over everything <coughs> wait for hay seasons again like i said i think i have mentioned that I do need to relace a couple of uh, belts on it, which 
shouldn't be no problem. About thirty-four dollars, thirty or forty dollars for the lacing. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. But uh, you know, any time you get an old baler, nineteen ninety balers had several bells through it or whatever. It's gonna you're gonna need to do some uh, TLC up, you know, repairs or whatever. You all know that. It come out of Illinois, so he said. Or so it looks like it's fairly taken care, decent care of. Looks like it's been in the shed for quite a while. You know, been in shot a shed parked way. The paint's held up and stuff like that. So. so we shall see, and I will do a reveal model on it. A uh, review uh, video on it Monday when I get home. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a when I went up to Ohio to get a, my truck. I didn't only get my truck, but I also got a cold. So I'm having to deal with that right now. But anyways, I'm getting close to my restaurant, so I'm going to talk to y'all later. Uh, I just want to give y'all an update on what's going on today and that I did buy me a baler today. And we'll see how everything goes when I get home. So y'all take care. God bless y'all. Have a safe week.